Welcome to Founders Club, the show for real estate entrepreneurs. I love what you guys are doing. You're recruiting a ton, you're growing fast. What would you say is like your top tips around recruiting and, and getting talented people to join yep. your team? So because we're in a people business for us, it's, uh, it's all about the people. Right? So, uh, so we're really selective. We're not looking to add just everybody. We're not right for everybody. So we want people at the end of the day to help others and then money will come. Don't worry about the money part, right? Worry about the people. We don't go after everybody, and, uh, and we're really big on, uh, on bringing on people who are the real estate professionals, because in our industry, mm -hmm. the barrier of entry is really low, yeah. as you know, and there's a lot of people who are part-time. So we're probably not a good fit for those unless they're serious about doing real estate, they just have other jobs or uh, businesses, right? Because right. we mo own multiple businesses. Yeah. So people can, but not everybody can. So we go, we go after people who says, hey, uh, you know, I, I want to change the industry. I want to change the way things do. Uh, and that's who we are. So they, they come on board with Realty Group. We're kind of like a revolution, you know, right now of what we're doing. We're, we're different. Because I think the larger national brands who've been around for a while, the traditional real estate is, is uh, dying. Yeah. Uh, you know, I consider us like the speedboat, right? We can make adjustment where those guys are like the Titanic. They literally see the iceberg and they're like heading into it and they're literally telling the people, brace for impact, <laughs> you know, we're hitting it, we can't get out of the way. Yeah. And then people are jumping off you know, the ship and jumping on board with us, you know, the mm -hmm. rescue ship that's floating around <laughs> and catching them. The rescue ship. Yeah, like you that. know, so <laughs> that's who we are steam, seem to be uh, attracting. So we're also getting to the point where we're now attracting versus chasing. Right. And you, I'm sure you get to that point yeah. as well. Yeah, that's the thing about recruiting is once you get to a point where you hit critical mass, it becomes the opposite. You're not. You're turning more people away right. than you are bringing people on because you can be a lot more attached to getting the right fit, the culture yep. fit, the people fit. That's right. All that. Yep. And how are you? Um, how are you going after talent? Is it leads? Are you attract? Are you cold calling? Yep. What's your methodology? So or we actually, Mike and I, put together uh, a, a pretty proven and tested seven-step recruiting process. Oh, I like this, okay. And I believe, I don't care if you're building a brokerage or a team or you're just a solo agent, you can use the same process for recruiting buyers and sellers, right? Because okay. at the end of the day, we're still, we're in a human capital business, right? That's right. You're trying to get as I many human capital as possible. So for us, number one is to know who you are and who you want. Same if you're a solo agent watching this, it's not just about recruiting which buyers and sellers you want to work with. There's yeah. not everybody you should work with, right? That's a very important <laughs> distinction. That's right. And then the second one is understanding your target audience. Now that you know who you are and who you want, you want to target that audience specifically. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is that there are different target audience you may have. Now you have to focus on each of those target audience with the right message. The message, yeah. Like for us, we have usually three, four different targeted audience. Number one is demographically. For some reason, geographically as well. For some reason, even agents don't come to an office. They still want one nearby, 15 to 20 minutes. I don't know why right. they have to come in once a month. They're like, I need an office. They're like, what? we never see you. Yeah. Now we open the office, yeah. right? So we target around that. Yep. Uh, two is by production. So uh, the average agent in the state of Minnesota and nationally do about four a year. I don't even know how people make a living doing four a year, right? Yeah. But when you divide everybody into the headcount, it's about four a year. So we average double to triple that. So we usually try to go about eight or more. That's our target audience. So we do about eight to 16 with a different target audience, mm -hmm. with different message. 16 to about 30 or so are different, and 30 and above is different, right? Mm -hmm. So we have target audience with different messages. Mm -hmm. And the third group uh, is the models. The KW, the Remax, the Colwell, whatever's out there, we know what they're strong at, what they're weak at. And by the way, we never go and put anybody down but we always follow and show them what our strengths are, right? Exactly. This is what we have that could be best fit you. Right. We don't put anybody down, we just yeah. talk about us. So we go after that. So then we craft each of those messages, which is step three. Mm -hmm. Step four is deploying those messages. So we use social media, we have what's called a layer stack campaign, right? Mailer, texting, email, social media. But one thing we do a lot of uh, is videos because we are in the people business, so visibility is credibility. So the more people Great see line. you, right? Yeah. Because people work with people they like and trust. So nowadays, we cannot go door knock a thousand people and introduce ourselves. Hi, this is Long, this is Oliver, you know, here's all about me, spend an hour, tell them about it. <laughs> right. But with social media and videos, they start seeing you. Okay, they go, oh, that's Long, that's Long. There he is you again. Know, exactly, <laughs> so now, 
they, we attract instead of chase, mm -hmm. which and only then you lead to step five. And most people go right to step five. They start making a call, they cold call people, hey, let's meet, you need to sell a house, you need to buy a house, you, you need to switch brokerages. They're like, hey, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and no, I, who are I'm you not again? switching, right? <laughs> so, so that's when we follow up with calls, step five. So then we reach out to the target audience that we've been targeting and retargeting. Mm -hmm. Hey, would you like to sit down with Long or Mike to learn more about Realty Group? And we'd like to learn more about you. But at the end of the day, we're in a people business. So we just want to network, learn, and share. We may not be a good fit for you or vice versa. So we, do, we have very good success with networking with people. And many of those have a second or third meeting. Yeah. Right? Hey. That's I a great, like, very soft approach. Because we're dating, right? Right. We talked about earlier. Yeah. I'm not gonna come to you and say, hey, we wanna get married? Yeah. We just met today, you right. switch brokers, right. you come with your broker. So we dated uh, usually two or three meetings. And I'm one of those big believers in the people business. So as much as I wanna scale it out, I also need a one on one relationship, face to face, belly to belly. Mm -hmm. I wanna look you in the eye, I wanna hear about your story, I wanna know who you are, because this seems a good fit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that's step five, which we go through the whole process, including you are part of it. We send out a reminder tax all this other stuff, okay? And then step six is then, that's when we do the follow-up, okay? So our follow-up is, you know, you met, this is a good fit, yes, transfer, here's what you do, no, maybe later, we invite you to an event, to a training, you know, just make sure we still stay Dream into your web. That's right. And then once they do join us, step seven is then social proof. Mm. Now we go, hey, how has it been? Been 30 days, because guess what's happening? Especially on the real estate piece, including the buyer-seller, right? If you're a solo agent, the buyers just bought a home, the neighbor, their friend is like watching them. How was your agent? How did mm -hmm. the process go? Right. On recruiting, it's the same. When a KW agent come to us, by the way, KW is a great model, but we seem to have very good success with them. One of every three agents with us come from a Keller Williams, okay? So anyways, when a KW agent or any agent come to us, that office is watching them. Hey, why did Oliver move? How's right. it going over there, man? Yeah. Is it as good as they say it is? Yeah. Okay? So we're not honeymoon period, so we want to make sure we take care of them. And when we do, we want to talk to them about it. Mm -hmm. How's your experience here, blah, blah, blah. And then we ask them for their permission they like, so we go and target that office or that model to mm. say, hey, you know, Oliver's here now, he's having great uh, fun, he's loving it. If you'd like to find out more, click here to talk to Longer Mike. I love That's that. That's a seven recruiting, step recruiting. I process. love that. Wow, that was a much more involved answer than I thought it was <laughs> gonna be, but I love it. That's brilliant. I like that it didn't end once they joined. Because I think a lot of people, just like in marriages, they get married and then all of a sudden they stop pouring into the relationship. That's right. They stop going on dates and stop, you know, checking in as often and just get comfortable. Yep. But really, it's it's almost more important to take care of them even more once they join because that's when you accelerate referrals. That's when you can really leverage that relationship to the fullest. Yes. Yeah, so it's hard enough to get someone. It's even harder to keep them. Right. So our retention is even more in-depth than our recruiting. Mm. You know, now that we have them, you know, we'll constantly reach out to them, see can you need something from us, you know, or we're following up with them. Uh, we set up one-on-one -on -one if they need us. So, yes, totally agree. I'm yeah. sure you guys have to say it. And how's your, how, how's your um, setup for servicing those 450 agents? Yep. So because we're in a people business, right, and we want to make sure we service them. So we, we have what we call kind of three main area. First one, when they call a main number, they can press two for agent services. Uh, that's a concierge. Yep. Okay. Hey, uh, who do I talk to about this? Where do I find this? You know, can you help me order a business card? Mm -hmm. Anything for them to be a real estate agent uh, professional at Realty Group. The second one is they press three, and there's broker services. This is like your professional help. Any hey, transaction form? related. That's right. Contracts. Found doctor almost, right? Yeah. Like what box do I check? What form do I use? How I get my clients out of this deal? And then the third one is our processing support. You know, their file. Got hey, it. can someone help me process the file? I'm not good at this. I want someone to do that for me. But how our system's unique is that when they call, text, email us in one of those, and if they don't get a, an answer right away, a ticket is, is created. Mm. So like a ticketing system. Mm. So we're going to call back the file to, 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 to solve that ticket. So it. that's kind of the way that we work in our retention to service. And how are you doing that? Is that like Zendesk or what do you use for We that? are using actually Zendesk. Zendesk. That is correct. Okay. Yep. And you've been happy with it? You like yep. it? Yep. We had, uh, um, we had a uh, Ring Central before, okay. which served good for us. But as we grew, Zendesk is working better for us. To listen to this full Founders Club interview, go to foundersclub.tv.